Hey all, so today we are going to cover a very simple and very crucial topic that is inclusive gateway versus exclusive gateway. So if you don't know what it is, let's try to understand what it is and then we'll see what is the difference and when we should use what kind of thing. So if you can see this is the decision, okay, so this we call it as a gateway and if I click on spanner, okay, here I can see the different types of gateway. So today we are not going to talk about the complex or event based gateway, today we are going to talk about inclusive gateway which looks like this and the second one is this exclusive gateway okay if i select something else i can again see this exclusive gateway in the options right so we are going to see when to use this and when to use this okay first suppose okay i, I hope the symbol wise it is clear okay so we are going to see the demonstration with the exclusive gateway then we are going to see the demonstration with the inclusive gateway so for one thing as soon as the we start a flow okay control comes here and then uh, after executing this start event the control will go to this user task and this user task means at this point of time the control will be here and here as well so if you are not getting it uh, fine after some time we are going to see this in the live demonstration there you can see where is the control at what point of time so then it will be clear so wait for some time okay now uh, after uh, suppose let's say i completed this task and I completed this task and the control is coming to this arrow and then it is coming to this and this is an exclusive gateway so it will allow it to go okay so uh, the control which was here that was executed will come to here so that's a different instance okay now as soon as the control comes here uh, that is uh, the one that control was here initially right so as soon as I complete here, uh, complete this task again control will come here so these are two different tasks okay so let me show you the demonstration then we then you will be understand what is the usefulness of this inclusive gateway so in one liner what i can say is when i want to wait for all the tasks that uh, is previously pending at that time i am going to use inclusive gateway forget about it let's see the demonstration of exclusive gateway okay so let me open my browser this is username you password is you so you can see, uh, right, there is no process definition as of now for inclusive and inclu exclusive gateway. So let me save this and you can see the process name is inclusive versus exclusive. So here we are simply creating a user task in which we have a form called task1 attribute just to uh, like differentiate it from other tasks. Okay. So uh, this task1 user task is having task1 attribute. Similarly, I have one more. Uh, user task called enter task 2 of exclusive and in uh, form I have this variable just to differentiate this one and this one okay now after uh, reaching uh, my final user task will be reached on definition that is just the name okay name of this user task so let me try to deploy this so you can see this is my name and this is my tenant ID tenant ID is optional so what happens let me show you okay so here you can see there is no uh, let me refresh this just for your satisfaction there is no such a process and there is no tenant id so this tenant id is uh, optional but i it, it is recommended okay so if you have multiple clients and who are using similar kind of names then this tenant id will help in resolving the conflicts now let's try to deploy this deployment succeeded let me refresh this you can see there is an inclusive versus exclusive gateway whose tenant ID, tenant ID means client ID. Now let me open this. Okay, so uh, this is the version 1 that is the first deployment and there is no task running as of now. Okay, let me open my task list. I hope uh, so far so good. Okay, now let me start a process. Okay, so here I am selecting this business key. So business key is nothing but human readable uniquely identifier for each instance of an uh, workflow I can say okay let me say exclusive again this is optional okay exclusive trial one start so let me refresh this now you can see that there are two instances created why let me show you here so here uh, there was nothing previously now let me uh, start this so you can see so the control was at the start event and since it is an automated task it will come to the next now next we have uh, two at the two place we are having right so therefore i can see i started one instance 
but out of that because these two are in parallel two instances got created so far we didn't reach it to exclusive or inclusive gateway this is uh, in general flow okay now uh, just for your sake i am opening it again you can see there is only one id correct whose business case exclusive trial one now uh, the first is exclusive task one and the second is enter task two you can see both of them are here so if i go on diagram i can see this enter task one is the first one so i want to complete this so let me write this as task one value one okay if i complete it you can see that task one okay this task one right that that got completed and reached to uh, reach a definition destination i'm sorry yeah let me refresh it here so you can see we started only one process okay out of that this task got completed and it reached to reach a destination so it's like exclusive it this gateway doesn't care whether the other parallel uh, artifacts has completed its process or not okay it doesn't care now if i completed it or not that's up to me okay so let me just complete this claim okay before that let me open this id so this id means whatever variables created so far all those i can see if i open this you can see there is only one variable created task one attribute whose value is task one value one because the second attribute is in this place which we didn't even executed so far so didn't executed means variable is not created yet i hope that makes sense okay now uh, let me uh, just complete this form complete okay now let me refresh this you can see that task is gone though we have created one process but that control is gone now if i see still i have that value why i have that value though that instance is gone because this instance belongs to the complete process okay this was a complete process in which this half flow is that is enter task one is completed but still the workflow is not completed i hope that makes sense the one of the one part of the logic is completed but the flow is not executed completely so it it is waiting for the task 2 to complete right let me claim here and similarly let me give value for this what was the value of the first one that was task one value one let me give it as task 2 value 2 okay complete now you can see in the diagram this task 2 is completed and i am reached to reach a definition and destination if i refresh it you can see that control is reached and we have two variables now task 1 attribute that is task 1 value 1 task 2 attribute that is task 2 value 2 now this is pretty much same okay uh, form complete now this instance is gone you can see this will be gone as well if i refresh it okay unable to display running process because that is completed okay so this was exclusive gateway where uh, this will allow anything that is coming to it okay exclusively it will not wait for any other things okay so we use exclusive gateway for other purposes as well but here we are considering in context of the incoming request to the decision not to the outgoing okay that is a different concept now we'll simply change this to inclusive gateway what we did we simply change the gateway to from exclusive to inclusive gateway that's it nothing else let me deploy it again deploy we did anything no we simply change the gateway and we deploy that's it now you can see there was only version 1 now if i refresh it i can see there is a version 2 as well okay you can see the difference only the gateway is seen now let me start the task start process inclusive okay let me write inclusive trial 1 that's it start refresh you can see two are created that was as, as similar what we had for exclusive no uh, so far no difference right if i come here and i ref refresh it for the second version you can see there is a one process created and uh, till here everything is same okay now this is the point of uh, difference now i am going to take this task one and i am going to uh, form complete so let me write task one value one just for understanding i means inclusive okay let me write complete thing okay now complete so that task is gone now i have one more task which is still existing there 
now if I refresh it, just what it previously one was here and one was here. Now if I refresh it, that part is gone and it is waiting at the inclusive gateway because this gateway will allow the control to reach the reach destination only when all the paths are completed. Okay, so this gateway is waiting for this enter task two to complete. Let me uh, write this one as for a claim and here let me write it as enter task 2 value 2 ok you can see the diagram we are here ok form value 2 task 2 complete that's it now I have reached reach definition but here you can see both will come at the same time ok there is only one process instance and I can see task 1 value 1 task 2 value 2 I hope this makes sense and uh, now I will simply complete it and this process instance is gone I hope that makes sense now if you understood this difference that is fine very good excellent but there will be some people will have one more doubt ok that let me show and what that doubt is we had previously exclusive gateway correct now if I remove this completely Okay, you know the uh, what the flow is going to be in this case, correct? Now if I remove this and if I simply add this, what's the difference between, okay, let me just uh, write in this manner so that it is easy to understand, okay? Now what is the difference between this flow and when I added exclusive gateway? Let me tell you that there is no difference because exclusive gateway will not wait for anything, it will simply allow everyone to uh, what I can say, uh, uh, move forward as as soon as the control comes. So that is some, nothing but this only, right? Because gate exclusive gateway was nothing was doing nothing when it was receiving the uh, inputs. So I can say if I put exclusive gateway or I simply put the arrows, it is same. So what is the use of exclusive gateway? So when considering the inputs, exclusive gateway is not of much use than compared to this. Okay. So we can say the exclusive gateway is much more useful when we try to do like this ok so I will have one condition which is going to this man and the other condition which is so when the and deciding from the exclusive gateway and the output I mean control is going out that is the output case in that case the exclusive gateway is useful but when I am considering about the inputs it is not useful but the thing that we learn today is what is the use of this inclusive gateway ok so here we basically wait for all the controls to execute first and then move forward I hope that makes sense and if you like my explanation yeah that's that's all for today and if you like my explanation please do subscribe click on notification bell and share to as many people as you can and if you have any queries any comments any suggestion please do uh, please let me know in the comment section so yeah that's it for today thank you